In this video, you'll learn how to complete an applicant's identity check in the NHS job service. If an identity check is needed, you'll need to advise which documents the applicant needs to give as part of completing their pre-employment check. From your employer dashboard, select the pre-employment checks link. On the pre-employment checks page, the outstanding checks section shows the identity check is incomplete. From the what needs doing next section, select the view checks or withdraw offer link. On the conditional offer has been accepted page, select the check pre-employment checklist option and select the continue button. On the pre-employment checklist page, select the identity link. In this example, the status is not started as you haven't started the applicant's identity check. In this example, you haven't added any proof of identity checks yet. To add a proof of identity, select yes and select the continue button. If you don't need to add a proof of identity, select no and select continue. In this example, an identity check is needed. You're asked what identification did the applicant give. Select an option and select continue. In this example, you've selected a proof of identity. You're asked does the identification contain a photo? If it contains a photo, select yes and select continue. If it doesn't contain a photo, select no and select continue. You're asked what photo identity document is given. To confirm the photo ID, select an option and select continue. You're asked when was this document received. In the day, month and year boxes, enter the date. For example, 15 03 2020 and select continue. You're asked when was this document checked? In the day, month and year boxes, enter the date and select continue. You're asked who checked the document? In the first name and last name boxes, enter the name and select continue. You're asked, is the identification document acceptable? If it is, select yes and select continue. If it isn't, select no and select continue. Or, if you're unsure, select needs further investigation and select continue. You're asked, add a note about the identification document. To add a note, select yes and select the save and continue button. If you don't want to add a note, select no and select save and continue. In this example, you're adding a note. In the subject box, enter the subject. And in the detail box, enter the details and select continue. You're asked, add another note about the identity document. To add another note, select yes and select save and continue. If you don't want to add another note, select no and select save and continue. Once you've added the identity document details, check the information you've added is correct. To view this information, select the proof of identity link. To edit this information, select the edit link. To delete this information, select the delete link. If selected, you won't be prompted and you won't be able to recover this information. To add another document, select yes and select continue. If you don't need to add another document, select no and select continue. You're asked, do you accept the identity check documents? If you do, select yes and select save and continue. If you don't, select no and select save and continue. If you need further information, select in progress and select save and continue. In this example, you've accepted the identity check documents as the status is completed. If you didn't accept them, the status would be rejected. If you've selected in progress, the status would be started. As you successfully completed the applicant's identity check in NHS jobs, and identity is removed from the outstanding check section of the pre-employment checks page. To find out more information, visit the NHS Jobs Employer Hub at beta.jobs.nhs.uk forward slash home.